Hey, what's going on everybody? It is me, it is the OG, it's the Original Gamer Stevie Stro, and I'm really excited to bring to you now my official gameplay video of Glenn Hewlett's Pac-Man Transcode for the Color Computer 3, and just to let you know, I am playing this on a real Tandy Color Computer 3. This is the 1.01 update that's been uh, patched to fix a sparkly problem with the gimme chip and I'm using the um, Neil Blanchard John Linville cheap Canadian labor uh, Sega joypad adapter I'm using a Wyco uh, nice rugged analog joystick doohickey thingamabobby and we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna play Pac-Man are we ready is the question so this is the um, home screen here. This is where you can change it between RGB and composite. I'm doing controller, um, difficulty normal, ghost names normal. I'm gonna turn cheat on, so if I wanna skip levels, I can. And the extended scroll means that when the screen scrolls up, you'll be able to see your score on the top there. So let's jump in and let's play some Pac-Man, shall we? Okay, so it's five to insert a coin and one to start the game. And here we go. I'm munching dots. With my white oak and ooh, I ran right into uh, Pokey. Hi, this is the award-winning Alan Huffman of Subbeat the Software, and you're watching Stevie Fall Off Cliffs. As you can see here, I'm really lighting things up already, aren't I? Come here, you little maggot. And this is the real Pac-Man game. This is what's so cool about this. This is not a clone. This is the actual game. Gonna eat them all up as soon as they turn blue. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the sparkly effect was, but because I'm playing this on a real Coco, I am seeing some random anomalies on the screen here. And I don't know if that's the sparkly effect that Nick Morentis was talking about, and that's what got fixed, or if I'm seeing something else. But yeah, I do see occasionally some little, um, little blitter pixels going across the screen here. Hi, it's Glenn Hewlett. I'm here at Coco Fest 2017, and you're watching the uh, original gamer Stevie Stroke. At different times. I don't know if that's the same issue or if that's something else. It's not really a big deal for me. I just happen to notice it. And I guess this is something that you wouldn't see on an emulator, possibly. I'm on level two. Let's see if we can get to the... I was gonna say, let's see if we can get to the intermission all by myself here. Hi, I'm Randy Weaver, and you're watching Original Gamer Stevie Stroke. About having to cheat. Hopefully, I can get to the uh, first intermission on my own without cheating. Let me get one thing out of that deal there, huh? And the siren's picking up. I'm gonna eat them all up as soon as they turn blue. Alright, do I get to see the intermission? Eat them all up as soon as they turn blue. Yes. All right. I've made it to the orange level. Ooh, I got a free packer. Packing away. Woohoo! You're right on. Oh, man. Pinky got me. Pinky overtook me. Hi, I'm Mike Rowan, and you're watching the original gamer, Stevie Stro. And when you're done watching, come over and listen to the Coco Crew podcast. Curse you, Pinky! 
Ah, there's the orange. <laughs> Was not meant to be. Thy game is over. Alright. Do I get to put up some initials? I don't even know. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I don't think... I don't remember what Pac-Man does. I think Pac-Man just um, keeps a high score. I don't know if it actually has a table. Yeah, so I have the high score right now of 11,370. So let's play again. And this time we're going to cheat and we're going to jump through some levels. What is it? Y to jump levels? Yeah, we're going to jump through some levels here. I'm going to jump back to the orange level. Alright, so this is the level I made it to last time. Let's see how well we can do with the oranges. Whoa, Pinky! Stay away from me, Pinky! Wow, Pinky can actually catch up to me. Oh, and I just got ganked right there. Yeah, there was no way out of that one right there. Hello, this is Paco Otakte, and you are watching Original Gamer Stevie Stroh. Alright, so Pinky is fast. Pinky can overtake you. You don't want to get caught behind Pinky. Wow. They don't blink very long. Pinky, stay away from me, you evil freaking beast. Alright. Three ghosts in one shot. Come here, you blue booger. Alright, not bad. Three ghosts in one shot. Not Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. The siren tempo is escalating. The stress factor has just gone to 11. Hi, this is Rick Adams, and I'm the author of Temple of Rom and Shanghai, and you are watching Original Gamer Stevie Stroh. All right. Can I make it past this level? I don't know. All right. Yay! I did it! What happened to my Pac-Man music? Wow, on the second orange, they turned pretty quick. I'm gonna eat them all up as soon as it turn blue. Come on. Oh man, I got ganked and shanked right there. Ganked and shanked right there. They ganked me. Let's try it one more time. Hi, this is Ron Klein. I'm at the 2016 Coco Fest. And you're watching the original Gamer Stevie show. It's driving me crazy. All right, second orange round. Let's do this. Whoa, Pinky, Pinky. Oh, crap, dude. I'm getting ganked. You can say that again. That's right. Pokey's too slow, but Pinky's out of sight. Come here, you little blinking blue booger. All right. Wow. I am going down. Oh, crap. How did I escape that? I don't even know. <laughs> that was not meant to be. I'm going for dots right now. Screw the ghosts. Die, Pinky. Evil. 
Pac-Man fever is driving me crazy. I made it to the apples. I'm going out of my mind. Whoa, right into the red, dude. Is my game over? Yes. Game over, dude. This is Brett Gordon from Coco Fest 2017. Please watch the original gamer Stevie Stroh's YouTube channel. It's excellent. This is technically the fifth board in Pac-Man. All right. Wow, and they're uh, much more aggressive. They're faster, they're meaner. They turn faster. It's like good luck trying to eat them, right? Good luck trying to eat these boogers, right? All right. Definitely easier to control with a digital joystick. Dude, they already turned. Evil. Evil dudes. Son of a biscuit. A hole almost killed me. Pinky, I hate you! I hate Pinky. Holy crap, was that the fastest level ever? Hello, my name is Grant Lady, and I watched the original gamer Stevie Stroke. Okay, here we are. This is like my third time trying the apple board. And it's pretty tough. This is the fifth... Fifth board, or the fifth round of Pac-Man. And they are already incredibly fast. Evil. And they turn back... Quickly. And if I don't get past the apples on this third try, that's gonna be the end of this video. But yeah, it's definitely fun to sit here and play... The real Pac-Man on your Coco. Yeah, don't even try to eat them, dude. There's so many dots here. It's like, I need to clear dots. And these a-holes are not giving me the time to do it. Use the tunnel to your advantage. Use the force, Luke! Alright. Little blue booger. Alright, I finally cleared the apple face. Oh, here's the second intermission. He gets caught. Second apples. Two apples. Okay, these stay blue longer. So the first apples was like crazy psycho insane. Red bro got me. I got one pack dude left. How low can he go? Pinky, I hate you. Thank you. Pinky! I hate you, Pinky. Alright, so I made it to the second apple face, kind of, sort of. I had to cheat and re-go through the levels more than one time, but not bad, right? Um, Pac-Man for the Tandy Color Computer. You're looking at it right here. I'm playing on a real Color Computer 3. This was transcoded by Glenn Hewlett, and, uh, which means he took the original source code of the original Pac-Man game and converted it line by line to run natively on the color computer, which uses a completely different processor. So it was translated from a Z80 processor to a Motorola 6309 processor. It's literally like translating languages. And he did it, and what we have is a completely 100% faithful reproduction of the arcade game running on our beloved Tandy Color Computer. And it's lots of fun to play. So if you're a fan of Pac-Man, you definitely gotta check this out. It's available on the Color Computer Archive. I'll put a link to the archive download link for this as well. And I'll also put in the link to the interview where we got to interview uh, Glenn on a Coco Talk and he talked all about how he made this fantastic game. So I hope you enjoyed it. I am the original gamer, Stevie Stroh, also known 
as Mr. Gameplay Goodness. And if you need to get some more gameplay goodness for yourself, you can head over um, right over here to my website, ogstevistro.com, and you can get some really cool merchandise like I'm a Coconut t-shirts and coffee mugs, and you can get some DVDs of my color computer gameplay videos and stuff like that. So check them out. Gameplay goodness, everybody. We'll see you on the next Coco video. Peace out, keep on gaming, and Coco forever. Bye-bye now. You know, gameplay goodness. Gameplay goodness. You know, gameplay goodness. All right, people. Hey, this is John Strong. Bleep, 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 <laughs> blooper time. <laughs> You're watching the original gamer, CB Stro.